Now that our air harp is physically finished, we're going to want to program it. Notice how it's doing the little blinky light thing? Well, that's because the Arduinos come preloaded from the factory with a little blinky light routine. So we're going to want to go to arduino.cc, click on download, and download the Arduino IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. Then we're going to want to go to airharp.com, and we're going to want to download the airharp firmware for Arduino. Once we've done this, open up the airharp firmware, and then go up to Tools, Board, Arduino Uno, and select that. Then go to Tools, Serial Port, and select whichever one says USB modem. Then we're going to click Upload, and down here is our status, and it says Upload into I.O. Board. Done uploading, and our AirHarp now has the firmware loaded on it. However, we cannot use this as a USB MIDI controller until we hack it. So here's how to hack it. First, go to arduino.cc slash en slash hacking slash dfu programming 8u2. I will, of course, list the URL for your benefit, so you can just click on it. Uh, depending on what operating system you're running, it uh, you'll have to go through different steps to install dfu, or a program that will allow you to reprogram the little chip on this thing with the USB cable. Now, uh, once you've installed DFU, you're going to want to get, get the firmware that you're going to put on the little chip, the USB chip. So go to web.mac.com slash cutaway with a K slash morecat underscore lab dot slash moco lufa dot html. Uh, now you're going to want to download for Arduino Uno, and it's going to be mocolufa-11023.tgz, or whatever it is at the time that you're uh, watching this video. And then you're going to go ahead and unzip that. Take the air harp shield off of the Arduino, but plug it in so that it's getting power. Now take a paper clip or something, a resistor lead would work fine as well, and touch these two pins together for a second until you see the little light flash. Now, now these are the two pins that are the closest to the USB jack here. Now we've put it in DFU mode. Now we're going to open up our terminal if you're using Macintosh and that is the platform that we use here at uh, Liratron. Um, and terminal allows us to drop into Unix here. Uh, now, I put this folder on my desktop called DFU, and it's good to use short folder names uh, for this kind of stuff. But what we're going to do is, <coughs> we have a list of commands here that we're going to enter. The first command is sudo dfu-programmer 1890usb82 erase. If you don't want to enter all that, you can just copy it. Command C. Command V. It pastes it. Press enter. It's going to ask for your password. Enter your password. And it's going ahead and it's installing that firmware, or it's erasing. Now, the next step is we are going to Enter sudo dfu-programmer at90usb82 flash, and it's going to be uh, whatever your moco or moco lufa uh, code file is, dot hex. And that is actually installing the firmware for the 8u2. And there it goes. It did it. Now the last command is sudo dfu programmer 1890usb82 reset and there it goes now all that's left to do is power cycle it unplug it put your um, air harp shield back on it Plug it back in. 
So now we've reprogrammed our 8U2 coprocessor. This thing should now be acting as a class compliant USB MIDI controller. So go ahead and open up whatever your favorite DAW package is. In this case, we're just going to use GarageBand. Start picking instruments. And have some fun. Your air harp is complete.